Calf? Well, oh, that's great news. I'm so happy for you. Now you're a true Kokiri, Calf. Say my name again. Say it again. Three heart challenge itself is I have to beat the game from start to finish with only three hearts. That means no picking up heart containers, no getting heart pieces, trying to avoid them as best I can. Um, the um, non-linear progression part of this is going to involve me not beating the dungeons in a linear fashion. So I'm going to be the very first one's going to be the the exception to it. I'm going to have no choice but to beat that in order to go through the game. So, um, but past that, we are going to basically beat the Great Deku Tree, and then we are going to beat the um we're gonna go halfway through dodongo's cavern and then we're going to completely beat uh lord jabu jabu's belly which is supposed to be the last one and then we'll go back and defeat king dodongo as our last one so we're gonna be getting the the stones out of order um this is just to kind of show you guys that nintendo's programming isn't completely um that, it, that, that it's not a hundred percent you know unfaulty the vast world of Hyrule, long ago, or, sorry, long ago have I served as the guardian spirit. I am known as the great Deku Tree. Sorry, I forgot my, my things. The children of the forest, the Kokiri, live here with me. Each Kokiri has his or her own guardian fairy. Voiced, of course, by Sean Connery. <laughs> However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy. His name's supposed to be Link, but we're calling him something else. Run, boy, run! <laughs> Stranger danger much. Navi, where art thou? Come hither. O oh, Navi the fairy, listen to the words, the words of Sean Connery, a.k.a. the Deku Tree. Dost thou sense it? The climate of evil descending upon the realm. Malevolent forces, even now, are mustering to attack our land of Hyrule. For so long, the Kokiri Forest, the source of life, has stood as a barrier, deterring outsiders and maintaining the order of the world. But before this tremendous evil power, even my power is as nothing. It seems the time has come for the boy without a fairy to begin his journey. The youth whose destiny it is to lead Hyrule to the path of justice and truth. Navi, go now, find our young friend and guide him to me. I do not have much time left. Fly, Navi, fly! The fate of the forest, nay, the world, depends upon thee. Go, oh, Navi, fly, fly. World's most annoying fairy, isn't it? <laughs> I still don't understand how Link can be, like, upset that she left. I'm just like, yeah, no, I don't like being bothered every five minutes being told I'm not going the direction you want me to. Hello. Hello. That is inappropriate, sir. Don't do that. There are children watching. Also, note to self, be careful what I say. And boop! Navi, that's not how you're supposed to do that. Go into the home. There you go. Da, 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 da. Hello, Calf, wake up. The great Deku tree wants to talk to you. Calf, get up. Calf, get up. Hey, come on! Can Hyrule's destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? Uh, yeah, it can. Funny how that works. <laughs> He's adorable. He's gonna save the world. You finally woke up. I'm Navi the fairy. Fun fact, Navi was named, um, uh, it's Navi is short for navigation, which is 
what she's really used for. She's to help the player navigate the world. So, fun fact for Trivia Night, if you ever have a Legend of Zelda question. <laughs> the Great Deku Tree asked me to be your partner from now on. Nice to meet you. Go away, you moth. The kind of opposite of a moth. Uh, the Great Deku Tree has summoned you. You told me this already. So let's get going right now. Sure, let's do that. All right. So this is my home. It's not much, but it's, you know, it's the inside of a tree. It'll have to do. And welcome to Kokiri Forest. Seems good here as well. Awesome. Thank you very much, by the way, David. <gasps> it's Soraya. Or Saria, however you pronounce her name. Yahoo. Hi, Calf. Uh, see if I can remember how to do this. Ha! <gasps> oh, them black, th them back flipping skills, though. Hello, Soraya. Just showing off in front of my friend, that's all. <laughs> wow, a fairy. Finally, a fairy came to you, Calf. Well, that's great news. I'm so happy for you. Now you're a true Kokiri, Calf. Say my name again. Say it again. <laughs> Is that right? The Great Deku Tree has summoned you? It's quite an honor to talk to the Great Deku Tree. Yeah, it would be fantastic if I could do that, but people keep on stopping me and telling me to do stuff. I'll wait for you here. Get going. Go see the Great Deku Tree. Alrighty, so if you guys can't tell, on the map on the bottom, uh, that little section kind of off to the right with the tree-like structure is the Great Deku Tree. So we're going to go ahead and do the rolling. And of course, this little this little uh, gentleman, I say that very lovingly, is stopping us. Hey you, Mr. No Fairy! What's your business with the Great Deku Tree? He's getting this voice whether he likes it or not. Without a fairy, you're not even a real man, says the child. What? You got a fairy? Say what? The Great Deku Tree actually summoned you? What? Why would he summon you and not the Great Mido? Of course. This isn't funny. I don't believe it. You aren't even fully equipped yet. How do you think you're going to help the Great Deku Tree without both a sword and a shield? What? You're right. I don't have my equipment ready either, but if you want to pass through here, you should at least equip a sword and a shield. Sheesh. Very much a mouthful to say with that particular. <laughs> Alrighty, so, for those of you who are for some reason using this as a walkthrough, welcome. Um, but, so in order to actually get to, and so here we go, we're not even five minutes into it, and Navi's like, hey, hey, let's do the thing. The, the great Deku Tree has summoned you, please come with me. Um, I find it strange that she's not leading me, I'm just running around, and she's just like attached to me. But she's like, you need to follow me. Uh, you need to sit in my, uh, my hat and keep your mouth shut for, like, 20 minutes so that our great leader, Maido, will let me through. Alrighty, and the Kokiri sword is hidden right here. Da -na -na -na. You got the Kokiri sword. On the equipment screens, and basically all this is telling me is how to equip it properly. Basically, you have to go onto the menu, you hit A, etc., etc. So we will skip past all of that. Alrighty, we got enough money for our shield. Let's go ahead and buy it. Da, 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 da. And yes, I know, equip it the same way I equip my sword. I'm aware. Right top of it. Basically, the way I'm going to be playing this game is I'm only allowing myself to get recovery hearts because it's almost impossible to play the game without touching a recovery heart. Um, what that does is it, it just recovers, I think, one heart on top of it. But um, that'll be the one exception to the three heart challenge rule. Um, because again, I find it very difficult, if not impossible, to avoid those things. Um, but basically, I'm not going to be able to have any healing stuff with me. So no milk, no potions. Um, I'm not going to be able to get the additional rings around the hearts. Um, because that adds to how many, how much damage I can get. Um, I can't have any fairies either. So if I die, I die. And that doesn't, and this isn't going to be like a three heart challenge. Like the instant I die, I, the stream's over. I'm going to keep playing through with only three hearts and try to beat the game from start to finish with the three hearts. So anyway, now that I have my sword and ship, um, my sword and ship equipped, I need more coffee. If you want to see the great Giku tree, you should at least equip a sword and a shield. Eh? What's that? You have a Giku shield. And what's that? Is that the is that the Kokiri sword? Good grief! Calm down there, Charlie Brown. Uh, well, even with all that stuff, a wimp is still a wimp, huh? I, the Great Mido, will never accept you as one of us. Shoot! How did you get to be the favorite of Soraya and the Great Deku Tree, huh? Grumble, grumble, grumble. Yeah, you walk away. 
You non-sword, non-shield, have and Kokiri, get away from me. But yeah, it also means I have to be very careful when I'm fighting bosses. Mostly towards, like, the tail end of, of the adult timeline, so. Great, good, a great Deku Tree, I'm back. I can speak, honestly. Okay, I gotta remember the, the voice. Oh, Navi, thou hast returned. Calf, welcome. Listen carefully to what I, the great Deku Tree, am about to tell thee. Thy slumber these past moons must be restless and full of nightmares. Do, do I what, Super Mega Man? I'll, I'll wait until we answer your question. Look, I'll just... It's the middle of a cinematic thing, but I'll, I'll, just, I'll just... I'll answer your question, but it's like, do you... Do I what? Anyway. Uh, Vice Lumber, these past moons, has been restless and full of nightmares. As the servants of evil gain strength, a vile climate pervades the land and causes nightmares to those who are sensitive to it. Verily, thou hast felt it. Calf, the time has come to test thy courage. I have been cursed. I, n uh, I need you to break the curse with your wisdom and courage. Oh, do I know Dewey? Of course I know Dewey. <laughs> I can just imagine Goof is probably popping into the chat going, Oh my god, no. Uh, anyway, what were we doing again? <laughs> oh right, Dying Tree. Uh, Does thou have courage enough to undertake this task? Uh, yes, I have enough courage to undertake this task. Lom. Then enter a brave calf, and thou too, Navi. We get to walk into his mouth. Navi the fairy, thou must aid Kef. And Kef, when Navi speaks, use up C to listen to her words of wisdom. That's a little fourth wall breaky, don't you think, Deku Tree? Dead meme. Dead meme is dead. <laughs> it's dead because he found Dewey. You know that, right? 